All right, so we're going to go ahead and set up our environment for our first project. Now, we're going to install Node.js, and we're also going to install a tool called Git Bash, which is a command line tool for Windows that will give you a couple, uh, a couple other features that the standard command line doesn't have. Um, but in no way is it required. You can use the standard com Windows command line or your terminal in Linux or Mac or whatever you'd like to use. All right, so to download Node.js, we're going to go to nodejs.org and click on the latest stable version. Okay, I already have it here, but you'll want to download it. And then we're going to open that up. All right, so we're going to run it. And it's just uh, just like any other Windows installer. We're just going to kind of go through it, click Next, accept the agreements, and the default folder is the program files folder which is fine uh, we're going to keep all the defaults it's going to add to path all right so we'll be able to access node and npm from the command line from anywhere all right so we'll install that all right so that's finished and that's all there is to it we now have node on our system all right, next thing is going to be the Git Bash tool, and you want to go to gitscm.com. And again, you don't you don't need this. It's just a tool that I like to work with in Windows. All right, I'm going to click this Downloads for Windows, and we're going to go ahead and download that file. All right, so that's all set. Let's go ahead and run it. Again, this is just a simple Windows installer. Okay, we're going to put it in the program files folder. And this stuff can all stay default. This option here, I'm actually going to choose the last one. This is going to allow us to use some extra Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. All right, so we'll select that. And then the rest of these will just keep default. Okay, so that's all set. I'm going to uncheck that, click finish. And we should have this on our desktop. Well, it usually adds it. All right, that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and search for it. Git bash, and I'm going to uh, pin to the start. Actually, no, we'll just bring it. Huh, it didn't pin. All right, that's fine. We'll just go to the actual shortcut and let's see I'm gonna bring it down here into my start into my um, bot taskbar alright so we can now access it from here and another cool thing that this does is let's see if we want to let's say I'm gonna create a folder called projects in my C drive All right, and if we want to open the, the command line in this folder, all we have to do is right click and we have a couple of context menus here. Okay, so we want to say git bash here and that's going to go ahead and open up the command line for us in that folder. All right, and we can use commands like ls um, and other Unix based commands. Now, just to make sure that node was installed, we can say node v. Okay, that's going to tell us our version number. Also NPM, we want to check that. And that looks good. All right, now NPM we'll get into later on. It stands for Node Package Modules. And it's basically just a package manager so that we can add and remove um, plug plugins or modules uh, to and from our application. All right, so that's going to be it for now. In the next video, we'll look into NPM more and we'll also look at uh, a basic HTTP server using Node.js.